Council Member James. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So I know that the needs of the libraries are great, but I also know selling off historic treasures are not, should not be the answer. Um, and so as I've told this story time and time again, I grew up in Park Slope and I grew up in the library on 6th Avenue next to PS39 where I graduated. And I grew up in the stacks of the libraries reading Grimm's fairy tales. I guess some people argue that's why I'm so dramatic. <laughs> uh, but I grew up reading the entire series of Grimm's fairy tales as a child. It was a safe haven for children like me. Um, growing up in a humble family where my mother unfortunately could not afford um, childcare service while she was at work. Um, she knew that I would be safe in the library. And so I would curl up on the second floor with these amazing books and would dream of faraway places. And here I am. Um, this is just another example, unfortunately, of how public resources in our city are being starved of money. I was at a rally earlier where our hospitals in downtown Brooklyn are being sold to build more luxury housing. The answer again, over and over again, is luxury housing, real estate. And here we are, and I, and I admire you for all that you are doing, um, but rarely do you hear the word free in our society anymore. And so the libraries offer free and open service uh, to books and periodicals and the internet and electronic service. And as all of you know, I have been in the forefront in the city of New York advocating to increase literacy rates in the city of New York. It's really <coughs> critically important. I, this is not the time where we should pull back on investments in, in our public libraries. And I support a project in Brooklyn, as all of you know, called BAM South. And I just, I did not know that one aspect of that project in BAM South, which is right across the street from BAM in BAM's parking lot, is the selling of a historic library on Pacific Street, which is not in my district. That li selling off that library and moving the services to BAM South. And I support BAM South because it provides much needed affordable housing in the district that I represent where countless individuals are being displaced. That's why I came out forcefully in support of that project. But I did not know that the library that would be included in that project is as a result of selling off the Pacific Street Library in, Pros in Park Slope. And so now um, I have deep reservations about this project overall because if it means selling off a historical library in a wonderful building to pay for a library in a new shiny development project then there's something wrong. And so last night, the park I understand the Park Slope Civic Council um, passed a resolution in opposition um, to the library being sold. And I stand with them. I join with them. And I wish I had known that they had passed that resolution. I would have been there to tell, to tell them about my Grimm's fairy tale story. Um, but there's got to be a way, better way. There has to be a better way to save these libraries. That's a land that hopefully shall be or could be or will be in a, a landmark building. It's a treasure, a national treasure. And to sell it off just to create a library for residents that are coming to Brooklyn, um, I just don't see it. I, I, I really don't see it. And um, I, I guess I have to revisit my support now for this project. Well, I'd like to put your mind at ease. Um, the project is a great one, and the idea of Brooklyn Public Library sharing space in that project is actually one that we're very excited about for a number of different reasons. Um, we will have an opportunity to build a space that I think will be far more effective than the Pacific Branch to which you've referred. And while it is an old Carnegie Library, um, I would love to um, take you through it um, so that you can see exactly um, what it's like to try and provide service in that building. Um, I um, am uh, an enormous um, 
uh, fan of great architecture. Um, I know a lot about it. It's a personal thing of mine, and um, I'm as much a preservationist as anyone. Um, that particular branch um, is not capable of the kind of work that needs to be done in order to serve that community. You and I have taken great pleasure in the other uh, <coughs> Park Slope branch that was recently renovated um, and opened this summer. It is a great example of how a Carnegie Library can be renovated and, and can be used to provide 21st century service. Um, I don't believe that can happen in Pacific. And uh, I, I certainly know that I don't have the money to make it happen in a, in, you know, it's just, it's overwhelming what needs to be done in that library just to make it ADA compliant, which it is not. So um, I think that uh, we should go on a tour and we should take a look at just what the library is proposing to do in BAM South because we are extremely excited not only about the service that we can offer there, but what it means to be in essentially a cultural condominium where we can collaborate with our neighbors and we can do all kinds of exciting things that we couldn't do um, on our own in a standalone library. So I would, I would love to go on the tour with you, but I would, al would also love an independent assessment of that library sure. to determine whether or not it, cannot, it can be saved. Sure. And I also believe that, and I don't know, and I guess there has to be an anal a legal analysis as to whether or not one can sell off a Carnegie Library. The question is whether or not there's restrictive covenants on the ability to sell off um, a treasure of that, of, of, uh, that magnitude. And so, um, again, uh, let me reiterate my concern. Um, let me join with my friends um, in Park Slope, uh, a neighborhood where I was born and raised, and I obviously play, uh, pay very attention, close attention to what, what happens in Park Slope. And let me just also go on to say that I'm very much concerned about selling off this historic treasure, notwithstanding the fact that it does have great capital needs. I just believe that uh, we can do better and we should do better um, for the children and for all those who uh, utilize its service. Thank you.